Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm not feeling it right now. Your boy going through. I know I've been away for like two weeks or whatever, but I promise y'all a story time. So that's what I'm going to give y'all today. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification. And subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Yes, go ahead and get this video a big thumbs up come on y'all let's support black businesses i'm just playing um so this is the story of how i almost went to jail jesus christ y'all okay first disclaimer i've never been to jail i've never been in no type of legal trouble I've, i'm a good boy okay i'm a good person i follow the. I ain't gonna say i follow all the laws but i follow majority of the laws that i should be you know, following. Anyway, so this happened last year, 2017. I was working. I don't care. I'm going to say the company name because they dirty as hockey, uh, H E double L hockey, yeah, whatever. They dirty as heck. Um, and yes, I don't care about using the names. I'm going to, I'm, I'm being petty right now. I don't even care. Um, so I was working at this place called Wireless Advantage for Verizon Wireless. Yes, y'all, Verizon. I hate Verizon. I don't like Verizon. I don't even know why I chose a job there. I just needed my money. So I worked there for about three months. Um, I was planning on going on full time. Mind you, this all. Okay, well, backstory. I worked there for three months. I got fired. I didn't do nothing wrong, y'all. I told them that I was currently looking for like a second job. And so a week before training, they just went ahead and fired me because. I don't know what the reason was. I don't really care. But I got a job the next day making three times more what I was making. So I wasn't really bothered. Note, I was not bothered of getting fired from Verizon. Okay? So I got another job. I've been working at this new job for about um, a month now. Um, I got fired in May. Started my new job in June. It was past 4th of July. Keep 4th of July. Keep that date in mind. Okay, so a month went by. And one day I get off of work of my new job. And, you know, I'm just chilling. We got off work early. I'm feeling myself. It's the weekend. It's Saturday. Um, I had a good 4th of July. Sort of, kind of, not really had a little drama then. But, you know, everything was going good. No problem. Bills paid. Boom. Skin was glowing. So... I get this loud knock on my door. Here we go with the loud knock. And this is where all the loud knocking starts on doors. So I get this loud, obnoxious knocking at the door. And I'm like, mind you, my, we don't, I don't talk to anybody. I talk to my best friend. Like no one shows up at my house unannounced. Okay. So there's a knock at the door. And I'm like, okay, who is this? So I go to the door. I ain't got on no shirt. I'm in shorts. I'm, I'm home alone. So open up the door. It's this big old white man a detective detective lumpkin and it's like two others out in the yard and i'm like um yeah they were like um we're looking for an elijah johnson i'm like in my mind i'm like girl what did i do mind you okay another backstory i recently got a speeding ticket my first speeding ticket ever like a couple of weeks ago and i missed driving school so i thought i was like uh-uh, they about to come arrest me for driving school, but no, ma'am, it wasn't that. Um, so, they were like, we're looking for an Elijah Johnson. I'm like, um, I'm Elijah Johnson. I was like, how can I help you? And they were like, um, my name is Detective Lumpkin. I'm from the Gaston Police Department. Um, could you come downtown? I need to ask you, like, a couple questions on an incident. And in my mind, I'm thinking to myself... about what like and he saw the expression on my face y'all like some of y'all know i can't help my facial expressions so i'm like mm, like i was about to say no and he was like it's nothing bad it's nothing bad okay so i'm like okay whatever i'll be down there um he's like well I'll be down there no later than 1 30 
So it was like 12, 15 at this point. So it's like a whole half hour and a half. So I'm like, okay. So they leave and I immediately call up my bedroom. I'm like, big, guess what just happened? Like these three detectives just came to the house asking me if I need to come downtown for some questions. And me and her, we like trying to go through of like, what have I done? Like, I'm trying to think, I ain't stole nothing. I ain't never stole nothing a day in my life. I ain't never, you know, held no one at gunpoint. I ain't been around nobody that's been in, like, no legal trouble or whatever. So I'm just, like, baffled that this is going on. So I'm like, what could they possibly want with me? So fast forward, 120 rolls around. So I leave out going downtown. And, you know, I'm, like, shook at this point because I'm like, I don't know what's about to go on. So I walk in the police station. I ain't never been to the police station a day in my life. Um, so I walk in, and I go up to the second level where he told me to go, and I ring the little doorbell, and, like, this lady comes out. She was like, how may I help you? I'm like, I'm here to see Detective Lumpkin. And she's like, okay, give me one second. So here comes Detective Lumpkin. He brings me back into the room. Y'all, the only time I've seen this room is on, like, first 48, and I'm like, this is, like, this is, like, the real deal right now. Like, I'm shook. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I sit in there and he has this other person in there. I don't, I, whatever, his, whatever his name is. So he starts asking me about where I work. And he was like, um, so tell me a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, blah, 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 blase, blase. So I tell him, yeah, I graduated from Sunset High School. Um, he's like, so where all have you worked? And I was like, um, well, right now I work at this place called Fair Automotive. I make seat cushions, yada, yada, yada. Um, he's like, where did you work before that? And I was like, oh, I, because recently, 2016, most of y'all don't know, I moved to Pennsylvania in 2016, and I had a job up there. So I was like, um, I had a job in Pennsylvania. My memory's bad. I know my memory's bad. Um, and the other detective or whatever he was, uh, he was like, and they both paused. And I was like, he was like, um... So, the reason why you're down here is because, um, no, first he was like, have you ever worked, like, in, like, retail with phones or anything? I was like, oh, yeah, before the job that I have now, I worked at Wireless Advantage with Verizon. And he was like, interesting. And I was like, <laughs> what's interesting? <laughs> and he was like, so, the reason why you're here is because, I don't know if you knew or not, but... Your old job, Verizon, got robbed, like, a month ago. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I didn't care. Like, I'm just I'm just not going to be like, oh, my God, this is so terrible. No, I, I'm like, okay, what does that have to do with me? And then he proceeded to go on with, do you know anyone that drives a red charger? And I'm like, mm, no, I don't. Like, y'all, I'm quick with these answers. Um, So... Um, he was like, okay, so you don't know anyone that drives a red charger? And I'm like, mm, no, I barely talk to people. What are you talking about? Um, so he was like, he was like, okay, so just be honest with me. Like, did you do it? And I was like, <laughs> you're like, y'all, I wanted to laugh because I've never got accused of anything like this. And I was just like, <laughs> like, it's still funny to this day, but it's not funny because like, y'all, he was, I was like, uh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I was almost fit up, like, bust out laughing, but I was trying to remain, you know, serious. He was like, <laughs> so you didn't have anything to do with it? I'm like, no, I didn't have anything to do with this. What's wrong with you? I've never stole anything in my life. And then he was like, well, a few of your co work a few of your ex co workers said that. You might have been mad that you got fired from your job and that this was the little payback. Okay, so the co-workers that I work with, I don't care. Kayla, Judd, and Stacey. Those were the three. Kayla, she was the store uh, manager. And my co-workers were Judd and uh, Melissa, Stephanie, whatever her name was. I was the only black that worked in that store. I'm going to put it all out there. I'm going to be real. I was the only black one that worked in that store. So I'm like... Why would they say that, though? Because 
I'm I get along with anybody in the workplace. Like I, I'm a real chill dude. Like we had a problem now. Stacy and uh, Joanne, they had problems trying to figure out who was gonna work. You know, they had them sh problems, but I ain't had no problems with nobody. So I'm just like. But I ain't had no beef with nobody. I ain't had no beef, pork, turkey, whatever. So I'm like looking confused. Like, why would they say that? Like, that's that. that okay, well, you're wrong because I wouldn't do that. He was like, so then he leaves the room, and douchebag, the detective over there was like, so I find it funny how you didn't mention that you worked at Verizon. I was like, um, well, I find it funny how you're trying to accuse me of stealing from a store that I really didn't care about. And he was like, are you getting an attitude? I'm like, no, I'm not getting an attitude. Like, you're all, y'all accusing of me of stealing, like, of robbery. Like, y'all, they broke out the whole front door. I'm like, okay, whatever. I wouldn't break out a whole door. Like, I wouldn't go through the front. For real, I wouldn't go through the front. Like, I'm a little bit smarter than that. And y'all, mind you, this happened, they said this happened at 4.30 a.m. on a Sunday. I like to sleep. At the time, I was working two whole jobs. I ain't got time to be getting up at no 4.30 in the morning. Like, yeah, I worked first shift at this new job, which means I have to be up at, like, 5 o'clock. Why would I go try to rob someone at 4.30 in the morning knowing I have to be at work at 6 o'clock in the morning? That's stupid. Use your brain. But anyways, along with the story. So he comes back with screenshots of the security cameras and... Y'all, the ratchicity of what this dude was wearing. He was wearing, he had his face wrapped up in a wife beater. Had on a whole red jacket. Um, a black shirt and some black biker pants and some Jordans. I don't know what type of Jordan. I don't wear Jordans. Keep that in mind too. So he was like, so uh, your co-workers, he wouldn't mention the names, but I already knew the names. So he was like, so your co-worker said that they watched the tape back and they said that the person on tape acted and moved and had characteristics like you and I'm like Move like me, like talk like me? Like they heard they they heard him talking like walk like me. Okay, I worked at this job for a whole three months. Y'all don't know me like that. Like y'all don't know I don't like I've never hung around my like, I've never, like, we never went out to eat. We never went out for drinks or nothing. It was strictly business. I went to work and I went home. And that's another thing. Uh, when I got in there, the detective was like, so what do you do? So, like, what do you do in your free time? I was like, nothing. I go to I go to work and then I go straight home. And he was like, Psh, <laughs> you're right. And I'm like, so because, I'm, I'm just going to say it, because I'm black, that means I always have to be out in the streets, roaming the streets or whatever. I can't go to work and go straight home. Like, I don't, that's, this is the reason why I go to work and go straight home. I don't roam the streets like that. So, he was like, yeah, the person acted like, and I was like, well, they don't know me well enough to know how I act or, I mean, of course, I will walk around the store, but they ain't never seen me jog a whole country mile or nothing like that. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. And the other, like, the other cop, he was just in there instigating, like, trying to, like, they were trying to get me to confess a crime that I did not even do. And I'm just like, y'all corny. Like, y'all want a lead so bad that y'all would try to make someone that's innocent confess to something that they're not. And, like, y'all, my heart was, like, racing, like, a part of me was like, was I sleep robbing or something? Like, was I sleep walking? I don't know, like, but... So they just sitting here trying to get me confess, trying to be like, yo, you might as well just go ahead and confess now while you in here. I mean, it would be so much easier if you just go ahead and confess. I'm like, I'm not confessing to something that I did not do. That's what we're not going to do today. What we not going to do is have Elijah Johnson on Etowah County's mugshot because what you're not about to have me do is have my name out in these streets. Like, I have a reputation in this city. Like, I work with kids. I teach gymnastics. Like, no, you're not about to do this. I'm... No, like, get out of here with that mess. So, at this point, I'm starting to get pissed off because I'm like, okay, so I work with these coworkers for like three months, and they sitting up here really trying to say that I really want to rob them. The things that the person robbed, that, that, that st they stole, 
we had just rearranged the store before I left. Like all the Android phone cases were on this side and all the iPhone uh, phone cases were on this side. I have, a, at the time I had an iPhone 7 Plus. The dude took almost all of the Android cases and he was like, so what kind of phone do you have? I was like, I have an iPhone 7 Plus that I paid for that I have AT&T, I don't have Verizon. I paid for this with my own money. And he was like, okay. And so I was like, so what did they take? He was like, well, they said um, some Android kids. I'm like, well, I don't have an Android, as you can see. Um, so I was just like thinking to myself, and I was like, so what else did they take? Did they take any money? Like, did they even try to go in the safe? Well, they was like, no, they don't know where the safe is. Okay, mind you, I worked at this place for three whole months. I had to go into the safe, which I still know the code. I could be petty and say the code on camera, but I'm not because I'm just, I'm just not. I would have to go in the case. I did my cash outs every single day. I had no money missing out of my drawer. I printed off my cash outs every day. So stuff like this would not happen. So they can say, oh, Elijah been taking money. If there was money missing, I would take money out my own pockets. I want my dollar 50 back. That's what I want. Shugs. So, I was just like, so, if he didn't take anything from the safe and all he took was Android phone case, then why do y'all have me in here? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Like, I've never stolen anything from y'all. I don't want nothing that y'all got. I have two whole jobs. If I want something, I will go and pay for it. And I recently went back in the store to buy, like, a little accessory. Like, I said that I was going to try to help y'all out because I know traffic is slow and y'all ain't making that much money. And Kayla, you sitting up there trying to blame, trying to uh, figure out what you can do to drive more customers. But yet and still, you have my name in your mouth trying to get me to, trying to say that I robbed your store, girl. I don't want nothing in your store. Like, I don't at all. So, I'm like, so I could have went to the back. I know how to get into a locked door. I know how to do all that, but I don't. It's just a nice trait to have. So I did it. So basically, I robbed the store. I didn't go in the safe. I didn't go in the back in the computer room where the safe is and took out $400, but more than $8,000 worth of phones. Okay, so not a phone was missing. I don't get it. Like, so I leave. Every, so I give them permission to like you can search my phone database You can search the Wi-Fi at home to let you know that I was at home Connected to my Wi-Fi which the Wi-Fi was not on at that time So I was like I was a little lying at first, but then I was like why well, ain't taking no oath so they ain't got to know that but um, So I gave them permission to search my phone like I didn't care I Have nothing to hide like I'm innocent like I did not have nothing to hide from them like, I wrote out my statement, and I left. And, I like, I called up my mom, like, this was, like, okay, like, I was really, like, broke down. Like, I was so pissed off. Like, I was crying, talking to my mom on the phone, like, telling her that, like, there's a possibility that your son could be locked up for a crime he did not do. And that was, like, my real, like, first time ever getting, like, discriminated by my color because I was the only black that ever worked in that store. I don't get it. Like, you see me, I worked my butt off in that store. Like, every customer that came through that door that needed help, I was helping them. While Melissa over here didn't even know what she was talking about half the time with phones. Like, girl, I gave you half, I gave you all yourself because I couldn't get commission, so I gave my commission to her. I was paying your bills. And you trying to sit up here and say that I robbed the store. Get out of here. Like, so I was pissed off. So they told me like if they needed any more questioning from me that they was going to um, contact me, which they never did. So I guess they caught whoever did. I don't care if they did. I, I'm going to be paying to say that I don't wish any luck. I hope that store sales decrease by the minute. Uh, for what y'all what y'all did was dirty and like y'all really try to mess up my reputation Like that's one thing I do not play with my reputation when I know I have not done anything wrong You gonna sit up and try to say that I'm a liar that I robbed y'all store that I didn't really rob y'all store that I really If I wanted something I would go get it basically like I'm just starting to get pissed off, but Yeah, so that's the time that I almost got locked up and that's not the only time I almost got locked up because one time 
like my chicken situation. Like I missed court and I was at work <laughs> and I thought I was going, I thought they had a word out for my wrist. I was like, y'all going to jail. I ain't go to court. I missed court. This is the second time me missing court. But I ain't have to go to court the last time. I I ain't got no ticket no more. I'm going to driving school. I finished driving school. Won't he do it? I got the receipt somewhere. But yeah, so that's the story of how your boy almost got locked up. Talk about stress level. Like, last year was just not my year at all. I'm trying to get your boy locked up. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to try. Like, I have so much going on right now. Like, I'm trying to find a new job. I'm trying to keep up with my bills. Like, I'm just... I'm just going through. I'm trying to move out. Like, I'm moving out in like three weeks so i'm just trying to get you know stuff straightened out but i will be posting more once everything gets settled down in my life y'all just pray for you boy like pray for me like i'm gonna need it um but i hope y'all enjoyed this video um follow me on my social media it will be in the description below um y'all just have a blessed day and i'm about to head home and get some sleep because i'm tired peace out